Khan. My name is Mashana Goman and I'm Chair of American Indian Studies Interdepartmental Program at UCLA. We are very, very proud of our faculty, alumni, and our students who have gone on to do amazing work on endangered languages within their communities. From creating dictionaries to digital humanities projects to films to developing uh, curricula and models of curricula for language revitalization within communities in K through 12, we have the faculty here, even though this only showcases a little bit of the faculty that we have here, we have an amazing abundant richness of resources. And we invite you to come and take a look. Native languages are absolutely important for the thrivance of our communities, not just survivance. They carry the knowledge, our ways of being, and they carry a place-based knowledge that is absolutely essential in this moment. The language is not only the words, it's not only the grammar, it's to be in touch with the soul, with the life, with the spirit of the, the, the people, with our ancestors, with the history, with many things. I can't help but go back to the work of Jane Hill, who's this fantastic professor at University of Arizona. And Dr. Hill did a study among indigenous language speakers outside of Tucson, and what she noted in her work was that when indigenous children um, didn't know the words for particular plants, it almost always meant that they didn't know what those plants were useful for in terms of nutrition or health. And that's a very, I think for me, quick link to why I'm now working on the Archive of Healing, Ritual, and Transformation, and it's really born from my work on language, because how are you supposed to know what a human's relationship is to plants if you don't even know the words for those plants or those names for those plants? Oftentimes, their words or their names tell you something very much about who they are. So you oftentimes, inside indigenous ethnographies, hear elders or traditional speakers say, you can always know who has knowledge about the culture because they know the names for the places. Uh, losing our language, uh, we are losing all of the things, all, all of our life, all of our spirituality, all of our technologies, our um, uh, strategies to, to live, uh, to, to live, uh, to have the, our good life. By the end of the century, as much as 90% of humankind's linguistic diversity may be gone. I think the UNESCO initiative emphasizes um, linguistic diversity as a force for world peace. Um, it emphasizes the important knowledges that are embedded in diverse languages and what's lost when we lose that. There's, there's definitely cognitive, linguistic, educational, academic benefits of knowing more than one language. Um, that's, that's very well documented. Um, having, coming out of an education, being able to speak more than one language is, you know, it's a benefit. <laughs> um, there's no question about that. But I think in addition to that is the knowledge and knowledges that are contained or that are, that are transmitted, conveyed through a language. And so all of that is part of, of, of that kind of an education. Um, connection to identity, to heritage, to um, the history of, of your people and being able to learn that through the language in which that history has been lived. And, and, and is continuing to be lived, all of that is, is important. Los Angeles in general is a wonderful place to be because it has the largest amount of indigenous, uh, indigenous people in the U.S. And these are folks who are from California, whose tribal communities are here in California, um, also from other parts of the United States. Many Native Americans were moved here as part of relocation programs in the 1950s. And then also there are uh, people from communities in Latin America, especially Mesoamerica and Mexico, who now call Los Angeles their home. So it's a really exciting place uh, to be in general. And UCLA has a very supportive, I would say, out a sense of activism and outreach over these over these issues. To be teaching um, an indigenous language here is an amazing uh, experience because we are in touch with the students that they know 
anything. They don't have any notions about the, the indigenous language as Quechua. But uh, when they are studying for three uh, quarters, after that they are very ready to make an immersion in the, in the Andes region. In fact, many students, they went to Peru, they went to Ecuador or Bolivia, and they acquired the, the language very well. And we have at UCLA some of the most well-recognized indigenous professors and people who are indigenous studies or indigenous studies allies on campus. When you look at the work of Pamela Monroe or Paul Crosscritty, you're looking at people who they're just generally known around the world for their work with indigenous languages. So to be amongst them in some ways is the best resource I could hope for. Back in 1980, um, I anticipated this current trend toward looking at endangered languages by starting a mono language project, the UCLA mono language project in 1980. We, um, it was actually, you might say it was initiated by the Western Mono community of North Fork, California, since um, uh, a woman there, Rosalie Bethel, uh, had a niece who was a graduate student here in film and she contacted me saying my aunt would really like to work with you. Uh, so it was one of the easiest pieces of uh, uh, connecting with, with the native community that I've ever done. The importance of the, the Tewa language is, is in some sense the how does a minority group maintain its language for hundreds of years in a situation that would predict that they would become linguistically assimilated. So um, uh, that was one of the interests of the working in the Tewa community. And part of the reasons would be that it becomes very tied up with language and identity. Their, their identity as a group is very much tied to their, to their language. They have a saying, Navi Healy, Navi Watson Namu, which is my language is my life. Ajipunja Mashikuna, Nyukaka Kushi Kushimikani, Kikingunaman, Kai Napaita Kunamanda, Kai Karu Jatamanta, Kichwa Shimipi, Magutapas Ningapa. Ya Nyukanchika, Sinchi Warmimi Kanchi, Sinchi Pachami Kanchi, Nyaupa Pachamanda Shamunchi, Hatung Yachingapa, Nyukanchi Kausaita, Nyukanchi Shimita, Sinchi Sinchi Rurangapa. So I, I tell something about the value of our indigenous language. And uh, in this journey to recover our language, it was the, the indigenous thing. It was the most important uh, to transmit our knowledge, our, our things that our ancestors uh, tell us, and also the value of the, the women that we preserve the language. Thank you.